what's going on guys? Uh, I'm in Los Angeles right now, going to be playing some 5-5 five five low stakes poker. Um, having a pretty good month so far, so we'll see how it goes. All right, so we sit down, we get comfortable, and we pick up ace-king in the small blind. Uh, pretty stoked about this hand, seeing it this early. The button raises it up to 25. And I'm pretty new to this casino and live poker in general, so just trying to take my time here and figure out how everyone plays. But I do have a monster here, so I am going to go ahead and raise it up to 75. So the guy to my right is actually kind of a loose cannon, and we'll see that later in this uh, video. But for now, I don't really know that. I don't know much about any player here, and I know I make a lot of mistakes. I probably play ace-king wrong, and I play a lot of hands this night uh, incorrectly, but that's kind of the point of the vlog, so I can look back at my videos and learn a thing or two, and then also uh, learn some things from the comments from you guys. Uh, button goes ahead and calls a 75, and we are off to the flop. So the flop comes out 3-6 queen rainbow with $155 in the pot. I go ahead and make a C bet here actually because I do believe the ace king is still good. I raised a 50. Might be playing it too aggressively, not sure, but the button goes ahead and calls me in a snap call and the ace comes out on the turn, so I'm pretty happy about that. I definitely think we have the best hand here. I don't know everyone's ranges. I'm thinking maybe this guy has like a queen 10 or something. Don't know how this guy plays maybe playing this too aggressive at the start of the session with ace king but we will see what happens so i go ahead and raise it up again uh fifty dollars and the button actually calls pretty quickly and i see the error in my games here i'm not totally sure if i should be raising 50 there or sizing the pot differently but not totally sure the eight of hearts comes out on the river i go ahead and check it the button goes all in here and i make a uh, questionable decision uh, I'm not totally sure why I do this, but at this point I'm very confident I have the best hand for some reason, even though it's just a pair of aces. I think he definitely could have two pair, but I just snap it off and call, and our uh, ace-king is good. He ends up showing king-queen, and we take the pot down. Didn't know this guy's range. Honestly got pretty lucky this hand. I know I don't think I deserve to double up that early with that play, but it worked out, and I'm feeling good. Like I said earlier, if you guys have any suggestions on how I could size the pots better and make some uh, more appropriate bets, please let me know. Definitely trying to get better there. Uh, next, we pick up Ace-King in the cutoff, and I forgot to record a little earlier, but the board came out King-2-10, two, uh, two diamonds, and the pot's at $40 here. Um, not totally sure why I didn't start recording earlier, but this was a pretty interesting pot, so I decided I'll put it in anyways. The hijack raises to 25 here. And I'm thinking, hey, I have Ace-King again. These are all the hands I'm going to be recording because they're my favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, call here the $25. We have top pair and we also have a backdoor flush draw. So I want to go ahead and see how this develops. Ace of Hearts comes out and we actually pair our Ace here. And now we're at two pair. Pretty confident here we have the best hand. Uh, someone could definitely have like a Queen Jack or something and make the uh, straight. So... Hoping that's not the case, we go ahead and raise to $50 and apply some pressure. So at this point, I'm a little nervous of a diamond coming out. I think he might be on a flush draw. I'm not totally sure. I'm probably thinking at this point, hey, you know what? I don't think I bet appropriately. I maybe should have raised a little bit higher. But he goes ahead and makes the call for $50. And now we're off to the river. And it is an eight of diamonds. And right now, I'm feeling definitely uh, pretty nervous about this board. So in my head right now, I'm thinking, OK, he's probably got the flush. He might have got his draw. Let's see what he bets out here. And um, at, for some reason, at this point, I guess I'm not that nervous because he does raise it to 110. And I make a pretty quick call. I guess I've already done all my thinking and call that for 110. We see what happens. I show the uh, two pair, ace king, and he shows the ace 10 of spades, uh, another two pair as well. Unfortunately for him, mine's a little bit higher. And looking back at this, I realized, hey, you know, I need to stop showing my cards first. Um, once someone raises me, I should let them show first. So lesson learned. All right, we pick up Ace-10 suited in the button. Feeling good about this. Uh, really strong hand to have in the button. I go ahead and raise it up to $15. Small blind calls that quickly there. Um, we'll see what he has. Uh, big blind folds under the gun calls the $15. And we are off to the flop with three players. Flop comes out, 7-10 queen with two spades, and the small blind checks, under the gun checks. And I think of what to do here. I do have middle pair with an ace kicker, but I go ahead and check, and we go to the turn. Turn comes out, ace of spades. 
I'm pretty happy here. I have two pair. Under the gun raises $20 and a $50 pot. Maybe thinking he's on a pair of aces here. I make that call for 20 bucks. In hindsight, I probably should have raised um, small blind calls of 20 bucks, and now we're off to the river. And it comes out jack of clubs, small blind checks, under the gun checks over to me, and I go ahead and make the raise here for uh, $25. Not sure if the sizing was good, but it worked out. Small blind under the gun fold, and we take down that pot. Looking back at that hand, I'm pretty surprised no one had a straight there, but we got lucky and we got paid off $110 right there. All right, next up, we actually pick up pocket fives here in the button and um, four players each bet $15. So it's a pretty big pot. I forgot to record some of that action early, but the board comes out two, three, 10 rainbow. We totally missed what we wanted. Um, the pot's at $60 here. And it checks to me, so I'm thinking, you know what, maybe everyone missed their flop. I'm going to raise it up to $25 here. We might have the best hand here, which is just a pair of fives. Under the gun plus one calls it, under the gun plus two folds, and we actually see a call here from the low jack, so we're off to the turn. All right, and the turn comes out, and it is a two of hearts. I believe this checks around, and I think we're in a decent spot, a little scared of that 10. I then make a questionable decision on this river. The queen of hearts comes out and I'm definitely spooked. For some reason, the guy only bets $20 and under the gun plus two folds. And I also fold here. After watching this video back for 20 bucks, I definitely should have called that. I had pretty good pot odds. This hand's pretty interesting here. The villain raises to 25 and I'm holding queen. So I said, you know what? Let's raise it up more. I go to 75 and this guy's a loose cannon. He plays very wide. I've seen this all night and I know that he probably doesn't have anything crazy. You know, if he has aces or kings here, he got me well played, but I'm not believing that story. So I go ahead and make that raise and he goes ahead and pushes it all in. I snap it off and we're gonna go see what happens. I'm holding queens, I'm feeling good. I'm talking to him, I'm saying, hey, you wanna show? He doesn't wanna show his trash hand. He knows he doesn't have it. So he wants to keep that private and I don't blame him because he's been bluffing all night. Uh, flop comes out here and we actually see an ace to nine then the jack comes out and then the six I show the Queens he mucks his hand we knew that was gonna happen we got pretty lucky there a little bit of gambling um, don't think I should be going in all in with Queens like that but in this case I know he's a loose cannon and I was willing to take the gamble so we go ahead and take that pot down and make a nice little profit and for anyone watching this, uh, please feel free to leave me some advice or comments or anything at all about how I could be sizing pots differently or playing better. I'm an amateur and I know I make a lot of misplays, so I'm trying to get better overall and have a more sound game. Hey guys, just wrapped up my 5-5 uh, five -five session. I played for about three hours. I bought in for $300 and I cashed out at $850, so I made about a uh, $550 profit. Not too bad. Um, I had a pretty good start. I doubled up really early and then I punted. I, I lost um, pretty much everything I made. A lot of loose cannons at the table. I just started playing super tight and conservative and trying to exploit that. And you know, the pocket queens was a big hand we got um, against one of the loose cannons that doubled us up again. And then, um, yeah, pretty good day overall. Happy with how I played. Um, time to go home and figure out the next time I'm coming back.